Good morning and welcome to Manic Fishing. Well, I'm a little bit later than what I'd arranged to be, but uh, it's a couple of minutes to wait. I'm gonna go around shortly and get the half eight lock. Don't really know what my plan is today. I've got a bit of bait in there. I might try for some rays, but I think I'm gonna go and have a mess about with some of these uh, little light slow jigs and just have a play about on the reefs and see what's about. Um, yeah, so watch this video, see how we get on. Right, got the baby strapped up. Let's call Sovereign Arbor and get the North Bridge open and get round there. What a day. Let's hope I can get some fish. Right, so I've just got myself out to this wreck. A little bit unorganized. So what are we gonna go down with? I think I'm gonna go down with the scary first. So there's another boat on here from my club, Dave Cramp. So what I'm gonna to use today, I'm gonna to try a scary eel, about a seven foot trace. I can see my drift line straight away. Gonna go down with a six ounce lead to try. Right, let's get ourselves round. Okay, let's have a first drop down. Let's get my net ready. Always live in oak. Okay, let's go. Right, showing quite a few fish down there. So let's hope. I'm using a slightly lighter rod than what I would. This is my six to 12, because my other one's not made up and my boom snapped on the other one. So it looks like they're into a fish. Be nice to pluck one out in front of them. Oh, a little knock then. Just on the end, didn't quite take it. Water's super clear out here today. Lovely and flat, calm. So really, I was just gonna go and mess about with some metals on a reef, but you never know what you're gonna do until you come out that lock. Right, let's go back round. Try and get the fish before them. Right, so I'm on my second drift, so I've just come a little bit further away from it this time because I was right on top of it before I got down. So I'm slightly over to where I want to be, but should be fine. So quite a lot of fish down there, so let's hope. And the six ounce weight's going down perfectly. Yep. Oh, get my clutch set. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Fighting well.
you don't want your clutch set too tight otherwise it'll snap off and otherwise it'll just pull you in the wreck there's a bit of nodding going on oh nice what is it skip I'm on the leader now oh that's a nice one Beauty. It's always nice to get your first fish, especially in front of your mate from the other club. <laughs> right, I'm going back around on the same sort of drift. Right, second drift. So I'm trying to keep on that same uh, drift line. Seems to be showing most of the fish at the start of this wreck. Hear the bleeping? I love the bleeping. So I didn't have that drag set correctly when I hooked into that fish. So uh, it is now. Oh, getting takes as I'm coming up. So they're about 10 turns at the minute, I reckon. Come out, Skip. Oh, mate, that lunge then, I wasn't ready. Oh dear. Yep, no. <laughs> Right, let's get myself back round before he does. Dog eat dog. The old reel's making a bit of a noise. Needs a bit of service, I think. Right. Right, so we're both down fishing quite close. Massive fish down there. Yeah, I wasn't down quick enough that time. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this drift short and get straight back round before he does. Right, I've managed to sneak back in front of him now. Beautiful day out here. So I'll do a little bit of wrecking, get a couple of fish, and then I'll uh, move on and do some, uh, maybe some ray fishing, or uh, might mess about, see if I can get a wrasse. We're in 180 foot of water. I'm going about 25 turns. It's working quite an area. Oh dear, yeah, nice, straight into one, that feels better. Yeah, she's nodding now. Fight like mad, Pollock. This feels a better one. What is it, Skip? My old Pip used to, there she is, she used to do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, it feels better. On the leader. Now, let's get my net. I don't want to lose it. Uh, nearly, nearly did lose it then. Uh, yeah, look, the lure's come out. Nice, not a double, but probably six pound. So we're going round the wreck each time. He's going that way, I'm going this way. So I don't get in his way, really. After all, he was here first. How you doing, Dave? All right? Yeah. How long are you back for? Let's hope the weather's all right. It'll be all right the weekend, isn't it? Any from my club went out? Oh. Showing some fish here, isn't it? I'm only, I'll only, I'm only staying for a little bit. I had all intentions of just going on the reef and then as soon as I come out of the lock, I thought, oh, I don't know, perhaps I'll come here. <laughs> yep. They're not very big ones today, but they feel good. Nice on this light rod. lunging now nice to pull him out in front of my mate piss him right off That's a double. Probably just. So, back on this drift. He's just had a nice one. As I said, they're not uh, massive ones today. I don't know, I probably maybe touching double figure that one, but good fun. You'll see where he lands because I think we're about on the perfect drift here. So he's probably come just in, in front of me. Dave's a very experienced skipper. Oh, little knock then, yep. And another one, chasing it up. Yeah, so oh dear, just not taking it. Yeah, again. <laughs> Go back down. Just nipping at that tail, I think. So the water clarity today is fantastic. We will get hit with May rot soon in the marina. Now I'm in the north, I can't see it as much in the inner harbour. I think they're getting it already, but normally you'll see it's like slime comes on the line. If you move your uh, engine over, it'll move you in the tide just to get you back on that perfect drift so all these pollock now are spawned out so uh, you won't get the massive ones but you'll get them they're really healthy oh, oh dear had to happen that's the wreck that's not a fish oh dear oh well had to happen so let's see what I've lost. Probably lost a lot. My other rod isn't set up. So I've still got my leader. So I can just quickly whack a boom on that, save me messing about. 
I've got them already made up. And what I do is I have this pot here and this is all made up with my, uh, I've got all my beads and my traces and everything else, swivels all ready to go. So on occasions like this, I'm literally ready. I think I'm going to put try a jelly worm on there. See how I get on with that. <laughs> it's giving me some wash. Touche. Now, this is what I'm going to try. I've got a mould and I'm going to make a load of these up. So this is just a, literally, little jelly worm with a 40 gram lead head. Let's try this down there. I think these are going to work killer. And the Pollock do like a ready orangey lure. Right, let's get round. Right, so let's get down with this jelly worm. Get a bit organised. Yeah, so it's coming around this side of the boat. Right, let's go back down with this jelly worm. I must admit, sometimes it is a confidence thing, you know, you stick with what you what you feel happy with. If I hadn't a caught on that, I wouldn't have dropped it back down again, but I come slightly over on that drift. Oh, well, wait to the end of the wreck. It's just come round it slightly different that time. Just on the outside of it. We've got some exciting fishing coming up over the next few weeks. As I said, I'm going to do another trip down the Kingsmere for uh, Bream. I'm going to leave it about a week, 10 days later than what I did last year because I didn't get anything over four pound. Well, in fact, my friend Danny had the biggest one that day. So I might well take him down there again. It's quite a long old way, Little Hampton, to go on your own. So I might well go down there and do a proper trip down there. I've got a little bit more experience of how to fish for them this time. And then we've got taupe and all sorts coming up down here now. Right, I'm gonna go back round. Skip, stop scratching. Scratching all my seats up, little bugger. Yep, nice. Doesn't feel that big, but oh, I don't know, it's starting to go a bit now. I say they really start to kick when they start to see the water, see the light, you know, when they're coming up. Tangled that, oh dear, blimey. <clears throat> That's a bit embarrassing, but there you go. Smallest one of the day. <laughs> right, I'm still on that wreck, so let's go back down. I'm doing, I'm thumbing this spool so it goes down a little bit smoother so it's not getting caught up that uh, trace line. The last two has been tangled, so whether it's me the way I've dropped it that last couple of times or whether the tide's starting to turn a bit. Yep, nice. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's nodding, blimey. So they do fight like mad, Pollock. Great fun. 
Mate, this is better than laying bricks. Yeah, I reckon he's seeing the light and he's uh, starting to kick a bit more now. Come on, get on that leader. Where's my net? Nicely done. Yeah, it's on a sidewinder, scary. Not big, but they fight like mad. Happy with that. Right, so I've just moved round. I've come back on this sort of central through this wreck. Seems to be where they're holding right at the start of this wreck. So I'm virtually down and the fish are just starting to show now. Perhaps I come on a little bit quick, but I'd rather be on it than not on it. Oh yes, yep, smashed, smashed it. Oh, mate, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's hit it. Be seeing the water, blimey. Yeah, I'm on my leader. Right, can I get my net? Beauty. size his eyes are bulging a bit this one beauty so it's 20 to 11 I've only been out here about an hour and a half and uh, doing really well so I'm not gonna fish for too much longer here I'm gonna go and try some other bits and pieces today I said really my intentions were just to mess about on the reef today on a and then I come out the lock and I thought you know what let's just come out here and see if there's any pollock on here and uh, boom they're here all right so I'm probably only going to give it a couple more drifts and I want to mess about with my plat uh, with my metals and all of that I've got some lovely h2o slow jigs I keep trying to use them I wouldn't mind catching a ras Perhaps I'll make this my last drift through. Let Dave and his mates have a rest of the flood on here. Still another couple of hours left of it, but. You say one more drift, one more drift. Then you catch another fish and then you do another drift. So I will try and stick to this. Skip, that's my pasty, leave it alone. He's behaving himself today. I've got him sussed. Oh yeah, that's nice, yep. Yeah, I've got him sussed. I keep him on his lead when I'm going fishing. And as soon as I'm on the boat, I, tie, I put him straight on that lead there. That stops his wandering. Because he just buggers about. This doesn't feel that big, this one. Unless it's gonna kick when I get up. When it gets up and sees the light, but doesn't feel as big still quite nice right let's have a look there so 
it's not all about the size of your pollocks right now seriously this is my last drift <laughs> just had a real a little baby pollock but nice to see him go back for another day I'll catch him on the reef in a few weeks when he's bigger I'll say we're going to have some exciting fishing in the next few weeks got quite a lot planned for the channel I don't know if there's any bass I saw a couple of the bass boats out this morning one coming in one going out so they'll start to show up but the trouble you go up that head beachy head the ledge and the river there well they're not so I quite like to catch them on the reef all right I'm going to continue winding this one up I'll go over and say goodbye to Dave and I'm going to go and have a play on the reefs for until it gets slack water so I might have about half hour on there messing about with some soft plastics and some uh, slow jigs so stay tuned right so let's unclip the lid make sure it's uh, not banging about I'll clip that on there take my lure off and fix that for another day there we go put that back in there oh, I'm good to go <clears throat> right let's get on a reef right so I've just come out to a little mark well you might pick up a few uh, little codling uh, it's hit and miss but we'll just give it a little drift and then I'm going to hit onto a reef that I know where I should but there's just a ledge here I'm just going to have one drift over it and see uh, see how I get on so I'm going to go down with a uh, drift these new um <coughs> let me show you yeah I'm going to go down with this which is uh these are these new drift ones 35 grams use my nice little light rod all right so I just chucked a pie in the uh in the oven let's make sure my clutch is set about right for this yep all right so let's have a little flick over I had to put my shades on it's quite nice out here today so I'm using my little light 10 roux rod this is a 5 to 28 gram rod and I'm in uh, 68 foot of water so literally I'm just going to let that get to the bottom and just gently wrist, wrist snap this as I say come uh, April May time you, uh, you start to see these little codling on here they're not very big up to about six pound but really good fun you know they fight like mad I think they fight better than the bass you know everybody's all about the bass but uh, you know don't, don't get me wrong I, uh, I like catching them but I think these little codling uh, spring codling are real good fun so what it is is I'm sort of on a I'm on a like a reef area and there's a ledge that drops down and generally you'll find that they're uh, they're kicking about on here I've got sort of a a flood drift set up so because there's not much tide I'm going to flick this out cast it out a bit so this is a weedless shad as you can see drift fantastic company let's flick it out the back <coughs> and then I'll just gently flick that and then it's going back in the tide so it should work lovely so you're only in sort of 60 we're in uh, well, 70 foot of water I'll just let that tight and then just literally little wrist snaps and that's working that lure lovely it's naturally running in the tide you know real good fun I'm going to have some really good fun this year with the uh, little shads drifts and h2o's and I've got my own ones I'm uh, waiting for a mold supposed to be turning up today funny enough and uh, I'm going to have my own lures that I'm going to make I've bought an injection mold 
and uh, basically it's uh, it's like a copy of the jelly worm. I couldn't seem to couldn't seem to buy them anywhere, so I thought I'd make them myself. I'm just waiting to try and find the right head really for them, but I think a ball head's fine because what you'll you'll find is that the ball head will push the water away, so it will make a vibration. I think it'll be absolutely fine, but I'm going to just play around with different ones. Oh, I think that was on the reef. <laughs> Thought it was a fish then. I think what I'll do, I'll push myself on the edge of this ledge because I don't want to waste my time really. I want to uh, just have a couple of drifts over this, uh, this inshore uh, reef. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did there. I might have caught it. Let's just tuck that back inside. Right, I'm just going to push myself to this end of this ledge. So I can just go over this bank. <clears throat> and then I'll just move because this, this was... The trouble is, is I have a plan and I think, oh, I'm just going past this ground here, so I'll have a go. But I should, you know, I never seem to stick to the plan I, I set up. But let me push myself over. So I'm on virtually on the end of this ledge. And then I'll just move to this uh, reef and try, because I might pick up a wrasse and all sorts on the, on the reef, where here is a, you will get fish here, but it's just a massive great area to cover to try and find these fish, <coughs> you know, and uh, time's against me really. I want to chuck the anchor in and get a couple of rays. My friend, uh, uh, John Little is on Manx Bell. He's out with, a, he's doing a species hunt today. He's out with, uh, I think he's got seven anglers on board and uh, he's doing a species hunt and I know he's had a couple of rays already. So um, they're there, but no doubt I will end up uh, hitting dogfish again. But yeah, I've got, I've got the bait there. I'll just as well use it. It's nice to switch it up a bit, you know, uh, try different things and not always about just pollock fishing you know I, I must admit I do enjoy it but you know people do get obsessed with it and uh, you know how many uh, videos you want to see me catching pollock yeah this is lovely like this now because it's going out the back and it's working the tide's going that way so it's working um, lovely just doing these little wrist snaps I'm just going to come over that bank in a minute I've just got this reel come through from the angling centre nearly two years later. As I said, I uh, couldn't wait. <clears throat> you know what my patience is like. I couldn't wait and I ordered them from Japan and ended up paying 300 quid extra for uh, import tax. But it is what it is. Right, so we're nearly, I'm about 100 foot away from the end of this bank now. So I'm a little bit early for them, I think, you know. A lot of my friends from the fishing club, they fish, they fish with like a rotten bottom and uh, three sidewinders on about a nine inch snood, like almost like a drop shot rig. And they fish like that and they do very, they do very well out of it but as I said it's not my style of fishing I don't like I only like to fish one lure at a time I'm I find it you know it's a bit more sport uh, I know quite a lot of the marine a lot when they fish for their bass they use uh, sort of three maybe four lures at a time for me that's not sport you know it's almost like mackerel fishing but everyone to their own So yeah, we're not hardly drifting at all. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go and do my plan that I was gonna do. And then I'm gonna uh, wait for the tide to move. <clears throat> go and spend a couple of hours ray fishing. Hopefully catch a ray. So uh, <clears throat> I know Manx Bell's gonna be coming out here soon and uh, he sort of gave me this mark. So I don't really wanna be right in his uh, right where he wants to be but i can't see him anywhere so so first come first serve john uh 
Right, as I said, there's no real secret. I might just tuck myself in. There's a like a little shelf up here, so I might well uh, get myself on that. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see there my uh, anchor line laying there. I've just chucked the pick in, so eventually when the tide starts to move around, that'll pull me back. I could reverse myself back round and it'll pull me, but there's no drama. So I will be, uh, I should be sort of facing this way it'll pull the boat back round and uh pull me that way but uh we'll just wait for it to get 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 itself sorted out and i'll uh i'll get my rod down i think i'm going to use my 6 to 12 that i was using earlier for the raise and i might just whack my big lure rod down that one's already set up this is already done so let's do that and i'm uh, i haven't got any rigs or anything made up so i'm just going to literally make them out how I go and I might well put a muppet on if I've got one if I haven't I won't um <clears throat> I'll show you how I make these rigs up so it's nothing uh no rocket science involved in it really I'm going to use 50 pound line uh and like a 3040 long shank hook right let's get this uh get the line out and I'll show you right these are the hooks I'm going to use I'll be honest with you I've just found these laying around down in my box so these are just a 4.0, but I like the long shank hooks because I can get the bait on there quite nice. So, yeah, it's only a small. They've only got small mouths raised, so I'm going to use this. And I found some 50-pound line, so this is fluorocarbon. So, literally, I'm just going to do a go through the eye and just go round that line about five times. And then what I'm going to do, I'll just wet that. Now I'm going to leave the tag on slightly longer. So I'll trim that a little bit, but I'm going to leave that tag on so that it sticks out. So I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just going to trim that back a bit and that literally holds that bait on a bit. I'm going to give it about, I don't know, about an arm's length. Like I say, there's no real secret. And in here, I'm hoping I've got some swivels. Yep, so I've got a barrel swivel. And do the same again, five times round, if I can do it. And I'm not going to bother messing about changing my boom or anything. So I'll connect that to my snap swivel. And then I think you've seen in previous videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these. I'm waiting for some glow leads. A friend of mine, Craig Thorne, he's got a fantastic sea weights he is. He gave me this about two years ago and I've still managed to uh, keep hold of it. Um, but he's got, he's made me a load of these glow ones up. They were supposed to be here. Um, well, they were supposed to be here yesterday, but they haven't turned up. I'm hoping they turn up today, so I may get a chance to use them. But uh, these are glow-in-the-dark ones. He's got luminous ones, so I'm hoping uh, they will up my game a bit, especially for this bait fishing. Right, so let's get my bait out. So I'm going to use, today, I'm going to use Bluey, and I'm going to use Lug. <coughs> so let's just lower this camera a bit, so see if you can see this what I'm doing so let's get these out so literally I'm going to cut the head off and I'm going to cut the tail off and I'm going to use that hole so what I want to do is I want to try and get as much uh, scent as I can so I'm just going to slash the belly a little bit on that let's get me lug out These were dug by a local guy at my fishing club last year, so I need to get some more. So I'm gonna put about three or four. The old rays love the lug. All right, so let's get them out. Let's get my bait and elastic ready. Right, so let's build this. Come out, Skip. getting the hook round everything right so what I'll do is I'll lay my 
let's lay the lug in there first so my lugs in there put my hook on the end lay the line down this tube like so put my bluey on all right now let's start with this baiting elastic there you go once you start it off it's not too bad oops he says cool this is fine this stuff Yeah, it's very fine. Let's get this. Uh, I've got some thicker stuff here. Yeah, you need. Uh, I like to have it a little bit stronger than that. No, don't be scared to put the elastic on because it holds it on. It's just a bit of a pain sometimes when you need to take it off. Right, so that's good there. Now you should just be able to push this off, he says. Yeah, like that. And then I'll just pull that hook back through and there's the bait there. All right, so let's get this one down. Now, we're, we're on anchor, we're held. Okay, let's get this one over. So I'm going to flick this one out a bit. And that goes out the back nicely. And I'm in 59 foot of water. Okay. And hopefully, hopefully, I don't get loads of dogfish today. But, uh, it is fishing. As I said, I've had a really good day on the wreck. So we'll just hopefully get that one. I might bait the, uh, I might, might bait my lure rod up with, um, with another one, or I might just try this. I'll see how we get on with the one rod for now, and we go from there. Now I'm getting a bite on this rod now, but I'm hoping it's not a dogfish. It'd be lovely to catch a ray, wouldn't it really? on whatever it is <laughs> oh a dogfish to the tail so that's the first for even me look fair looked him through the tail <laughs> oh well there you go the lovely dogfish All right, so there's nothing wrong with that bait, so I'll just pull that so it's over that hook and send that back down. So I'll cast that back out. I don't know quite how that happened. Catching him by the tail. Must have swum into it. Believe it or not, that's what my friend's after today on this species hunt. I think dogfish are high in point, so he'll be looking for some of them. He can have all of mine. All right, we're on the bottom. Right, let's go and eat me pie and wait for a bite. Yeah, look, the baby loves me now. <laughs> I've got a pie. You watch, as soon as I start eating this, I'll get a bite. It's always a way. Look, I know I am. Just hoping I can get a ray. Be really nice to, uh, to just get one ray and then go in. I don't know where my friend is. I think they're down trying to catch a few dabs and place, get their points up. Certainly don't feel like a right, oh, I don't know. Trouble, when you use these little six to 12 class rods, 
things do feel bigger than what they are and so catching them pollock on them today was uh, was epic what is going on can't work it out that's another one caught in the tail well that's the first for me I don't know what's happening there other one caught in the tail well we're getting a bit of a better bite on that rod there that seems more like a ray bite but whether it is or not I don't know yeah it's a ray nice so he's got himself wrapped he's had himself wrapped a little bit round the round his tail there so let's try and get him in so there you go thornback ray beautiful looking creature not very big but uh, nice to catch right let's get him back and they'll just kite away well, well I've had a fantastic day thanks for watching the video please subscribe at the end of the video you'll see my manic fishing logo and uh, prompt for another video please hit that manic fishing logo and subscribe it does mean the world to me and does make a big difference to the channel hope you enjoy manic fishing there'll be some really good videos coming up over the next few weeks thanks for watching